some investing advice for beginners who are just starting out investing in the stock market. Number one, you always want to have an emergency fund. So three to six months is what's usually recommended, but you never want to invest with money that you cannot afford to lose. Number two, take emotions out of investing. Nothing's worse than looking at your investment portfolio and you see it go down in value. You might panic, you might want to sell, but think about the long term, how much money and wealth you can generate from your investment portfolio. Number three, never speculate when you invest in the stock market. You want to know exactly why you bought or sold specific stocks. Now, if you don't speculate and you actually have a system, your wins and losses will actually help you in becoming a better investor. So I also found a great article online which has some good advice for investors who are just starting out. So let's just get into it. Morningbrew.com, fact versus fiction, investing edition. There's a lot of investment advice out there, which is true, a lot of bad advice, not on my channel though. The hyperactive techie you follow on Twitter giving foolproof market advice. The 50 publications telling you what you have to do. And of course, your dad still forwarding you random email chains about government bonds. But how do you know what to listen to and what to ignore when it comes to managing your money? You listen to yourself. So you want to do your own research. You want to teach yourself about investing. That's how you do it. To help answer that, we identified four commonly held beliefs about investing and unpacked their actual impact on your portfolio. Explore whether they're fact or fiction when it comes to your finances. Okay? You are either an active or passive investor. So an active investor is somebody who picks and chooses individual stocks. This is a type of person who is actively involved with doing fundamental analysis and maybe even technical analysis. A passive investor is more of an investor who buys mutual funds or index funds, buys them and holds them for five years, 10 years, or even more. So fiction. Investing isn't one size fits all. Some investors choose to be on the active side, trying to beat the market by buying and selling individual companies or funds, like I said, while others prefer to be passive by investing in funds and then tracking the performance of popular stock market indexes. While your family might be always yelling at the dinner table about which they think is right, ultimately it's up to you, of course. You need to educate yourself when it comes to investing. You never want to rely on the information that you get from somebody else. And you can do any combination of stock picking and fund tracking as you wish. Wish, for instance, you could keep retirement funds in less volatile passive index funds and manage other funds more actively in brokerage in a brokerage portfolio. Knowing yourself and your money is the only real rule. That is actually pretty interesting because that's what I do. I have my index funds in tax advantaged accounts such as a 401k and the Roth IRA. And then I have my individual stocks in brokerage accounts. The more you watch your portfolio, the better it will perform, which is false. That's a lie. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Okay, fiction. There we go. Often investors think that watching their investments closely, whether they're funds or individual stocks, leads to better performance. And I'm going to say it's actually worse when you keep an eye on it because you might be more prone to start selling if you're looking at, at it on a daily basis and you're like, okay, I don't like performance, I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> After all, you can see when they're doing, when they're going down and sell, right? Yeah, you don't wanna do that. Wrong, some of the best investors are the ones who simply set it and forget it. Sitting and stressing out about every little fluctuation in the market will only increase your blood pressure. In fact, being too quick to react can hurt the long-term potentials of your investments. That's what I do. I don't keep an eye on my investments every single day. I only log in every now and then to check performance, to check my dividends, and when I want to buy or sell. 
That's, those are the only times when I log in. So let's go to the next one. You cannot beat the suits. You can't beat the suits. Suits, I'm thinking they're talking about the investment, manage, investment manager. So the people that are actually managing mutual funds. Well, let's see what they say. Fiction. We understand if you feel disheartened about investing since it feels like you have to be a pro. But most investors aren't even playing the same game as the guys on Wall Street. And even with all those spreadsheets and software calculations and dual monitor setups, the pros continuously underperform their own benchmarks. So what I've usually heard and what has been documented is that if you invest in the S&P 500, you will beat more than likely any of the mutual funds that are being actively managed managed by some of these managers. But you have something to think, but you have something that they don't. Time to think. Play the long game. Pros might have to answer for quarterly movements, but you don't. Which is also true. If you are a value investor, you play the the long game. So you won't be looking at short-term price fluctuations. You will just focus on the long-term. And because in the short-term, and especially if you look at things by month or by quarter, yes, it might not look that great. But if you look at the long-term, your investment portfolio will grow and it will create you wealth. Anyone can be an investor. Yes, better would be like, what? type of investor are you but let's just see what they said fact if you're young and you don't have a lot of money to invest it can be reasonable to believe that it's not for you lie you can start investing with as little as one dollar so even if you're young there's no excuse not to invest or not to or not to start investing if you're older and have a decent nest tag, you can easily think you need an advisor to manage your finances, which is advisable, of course. The reality is you don't need to devote a lot of time or money to it, and you don't need to pay someone to underperform the market, which is funny. You can be an investor now easier than ever before. Yes, I mean, you can invest from your phone nowadays, and previously in the past, in the early 90s you couldn't do that by what you know we are partially we are partial to video game companies why with fractional trading you can afford to invest in basically anything so that that is interesting how they're talking about fractional trading meaning that you can buy a fraction of a share like i said for only one buck but if you look at the beginning of this this particular topic if you're young and you don't have a lot of money to invest I mean even you can buy fractional shares buy what you know think about buying low fee index funds instead of buying low fee index funds because especially if you're somebody who's just starting out investing and you might not have a lot of money I would buy a on ETF it costs a lot less to get into it because if you buy an index fund like the Vanguard S&P 500 you need to put a minimum down of 3000 bucks okay let me see okay we're I think we're at the end the fact is you got this let's say it again there's a lot of nonsense out there about investing not on my channel remember that your that your portfolio is personal it should change to fit your needs and comfort level I would rephrase that and I would say your portfolio should change based depending on your age and how close you are to retirement and your risk level like how risky are you there should be nothing holding you back from investing in the way that makes the most sense for you and your money okay pretty good article I like that so hope you like some of the investing advice tips that I gave you and I hope you enjoyed the article also. 
let me know what you thought about it and i'll talk to you guys in the next one